All right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Second annual Dunkin' Donuts, the go-to awards, the Barstool Awards. Thanks for everybody coming. Okay, Marco, looks great. Congratulations. Feidelberg, nice outfit. Liz, lovely. YP, like you dressing up. KFC, like shit. Francis, you could use the 70 people that signed up for your comedy special to buy a nice outfit. We could have done that. Um, the people who didn't dress up, if it was up to me, we do a firing squad right now. But it's Dunkin' Donuts Awards, so we won't do that. But I'll tell you this right now. If you're not dressed up, bad. Real bad. Anyways, let's continue. Let's get right into it. The second award show uh, we've ever done. Again, thanks, Duncan. All the people here, obviously, a lot of time, effort, everybody involved here. So let's get right into the awards. Best sports performance is the first one. The nominees. Oh, Spider, you can just bring it to me. Oh, well, I'm going to announce the nominees, right? Uh, me winning U.S. Open at Shinnecock. Chefs knock I'm going to put Shinnecock, this super tough golf course, in my back pocket with Mullins. For the glory, history at Shinnecock, Dave Portnoy is the U.S. Open champion. Oh, man, this is a bigger mismatch of South. Oh, there it is. That's it. Takes him out first round, 20 seconds. Go one more round. Go one more round. Go one more round. Why are you Stop. yelling at us? Stop yelling at us. Stop yelling at us. I'm not doing Get anything. Out of here. Oh. Yeah. 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 The, uh, I mean, you're sweating. It's a long walk up the stairs. Okay, right. <laughs> you're gassed. Do you need water or something? I usually want to come out. I got a minute to, like, relax. For right. those at home, the double walk is done right now. He had to walk up a flight of stairs to get to the radio, <laughs> and he is feeling it. <laughs> so best sports performance of the year. Winner is... Well, this is a good way to start. Me winning the U.S. <laughs> Open at Shinnecock. So I'll take one of these. I'll take one of these. Big Ev, I felt like maybe you were a second. I didn't want to make fun of you for being fat, so I didn't do that. Um, thank you to me. All right, next award we got. Biggest hit of the year. Roll it. You're so fucking mad. Fucking explain bro. it, stupid. So mad. Fucking explain it. You were so fucking mad. Fucking explain it. That was. That was. That never sleeps. I would have rather join you, Rolly Dolly. It's a flicker, right? Like that? Oh, there you go. There's a chest. Oh, sorry. Wait, let me ask you one more question. I guess do what you gotta do. I, I don't know. Holy shit! Oh my god! <laughs> See that full bite he has? Oh my god. <laughs> All right, biggest hit of the year. The winner goes to Donnie at the Hong Kong Sevens. A lot of people are calling me a hero of the LGBTQ community. Um, at the time, honestly, I was just mad because the guy just tossed the $1,000 barstool microphone, which I never got back. It, it, it was broken. But I want to say that I am an ally to the LGBTQ community. Uh, I just didn't realize it at the time. Uh, and that was a very, very weak punch. So thank you to that rugby team that didn't beat the living shit out of me. Thank you. Absolutely beautiful, Donnie. Beautiful stuff. And it's Pride Week, so beautiful. Uh, next up, Best Duo, presented by Duncan Gotos. Of course, huge category, no pun intended. Uh, let's roll them. We've got three nominees, I believe.
We're here at the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. Going to talk to some models. So excited. Hey, Barstool. I'm Romy, and we're here backstage at the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. How have you been preparing for the show? Oh, there's a lot of lead up and preparation for this show. I've had people come to my house when I've had barbecues and bring fast food, saying really? they're not sure that the kids would eat what I was cooking. That's disrespectful. Those people whose kids will never really know what an apple tastes like, they can go eat a dick. <laughs> but... This was voted on, if I'm not mistaken, by the readers, by the stoolies. So, uh, and, and the go-to is obviously people who go out and get the job done, the office of everyone who dressed like an asshole here, uh, you know, and just no effort. So fuck all you people who did that. Um, Dunga go-tos, back to the go awards, Caleb and Roan. Uh, thank you guys so much. Uh, we never thought that we would win this award, and we thought there was a little bit of a miscarriage of justice that uh, there's uh, like so many duos in this in this company that really do uh, shoulder the load and and carry the company, and uh, that that put out really great content, and so that's why we think it's unfair that the call her daddy girls weren't here today. But outside of that, thanks so much for the award. Appreciate you guys. Willie and Large, you still you know you guys still have a chance if you guys just keep working and just keep building and just keep grinding. You one day. This is you guys. <laughs> okay, moving right along here. Uh, best TV appearance? Got a bunch of nominees could have had here, so play the play them. The winner of Best TV Appearance, Tommy the Vape God. I had no idea I would ever win this tonight. Uh, you know, obviously I wasn't prepared for it at all. For anyone wondering, this outfit did get Dave's approval. I'm not in trouble because I put effort into it. It got on Saturday Night Live. Uh, so I'm in the clear. Uh, you know, keep vaping. I've been working on my clouds. I'm going to try to blow a cloud. I didn't get anything. I, whatever. Tommy brings up a good point about putting effort into it. I mean, how long have we known about this event? You show up in a t-shirt or nothing, it's like you think you got a 10-year contract. Wild. Oh, am I mad about it? Yeah, I'm fucking mad about it. Carabas t-shirt, Francis. The only thing you care about is your own routine. It's Kevin, lead by example. Give me a fucking break. Oh, by the way, best TV appearance. Let's move. Nope, already did that. Best <laughs> educational film. Roll it. If I have anything else to do in this fucking world, I'm going to get him for the people. We're the gambling. I'm the gambling fucking mayor. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. I'm going to get this suck big. Now get out of here. I got a lot to do. A lot to do. Dave has a team called Team Portnoy. And what Team Portnoy is, it's yes men that always agree with anything at all. How you feel after having your second helping at Thanksgiving dinner, when you sit on the couch, you loosen up the belt, you unbutton the button so you can let the belly breathe. That's how fat guys feel every goddamn morning when they wake up. Educational film, the winner, Marty Mush, Fraud and Order. Congratulations, Mush. What's up, you bastards? How you doing? I'm exhausted. I've spent a lot of money to win this fucking award. I owe that stupid fucking book. He's so bad. Thank you from the gambling mayor, the degenerates out there. I love you. Love you, bastards. <laughs> Best 
best celebrity guest appearance. Obviously, we got the ca uh, cast a tag here. You're waving at me. Get this you. girl. Get this girl. Right there. <laughs> See this cast there? Ass in seats over here. Michigan's coming off three blowout wins. We're going Michigan by 248 points. I like that. I like that pick. I like that pick. So you get an email from a job candidate, which this is important is to this company, very important. and you blow them off. You don't even fucking answer them. I know a guy who killed someone, and he said, and this isn't me saying this, dude, I wouldn't do something like this. But he said that it fucking feels good. You know how he murdered him? I don't know anything else, man. Let me see that. Best celebrity guest appearance, Blake Griffin, college football show. To be honest, I think we thought we were going to get a uh, video like of him thanking us. He didn't. It probably should have gone to Taffer. But still, Blake Griffin will send you the uh, award. <laughs> And since no speech, it's like the lights, camera, action guys. You guys are like movie guys. You dress like trash. You act like you got a million billion views. You guys are lucky to have jobs here. You dress like trash. Unbelievable. Sorry, little rant. Um, oh, go off king, is that what you're saying? Yeah, it's just, just a lack of respect, really. Um, best pizza review. Play it. <laughs> I would give this a solid B, maybe a B plus. I said B. I'm sorry. Our waitress is coming. I'm gonna go at uh, 7.5. Oh no! Well, don't argue with me. This guy's got permission to shoot on my patio today. Uh uh Cool. So I'm gonna need you to make your way out this way. Okay. I'm gonna give this a 0.0. 0. Uh, 0. 0. I'm a Northeast Italian guy. Growing up, I was in high school when your guys' show came out. It's like everyone in my friend's group, everyone's fist bumping, everyone's doing the oh, jokes. Yeah. Yeah. You still look like you're in high school. I do look like <laughs> I mean, yeah, I can't grow facial hair. It's just All right, Frankie. Plastic machine. Okay, okay. What? Plastic machine. I don't know where the plastic machine is. Well, you gotta be on camera if you want to do a slice. Well, then we gotta. I got. I gotta do this pizza review. Joe and Pat's. So, Horrible. Worst experience I ever had. Really? Yeah. Oh my God. I fought a war. You fought a war? World War II. That's right. Atta boy. Thank you for your service. Okay. My pleasure. Um. <laughs> what is going on, Frank? The question was, where's Paley Patricia? I think that was too old. I'm guessing it's Joe and Pat's. Joe and Pat's. Yeah. All right. So there's two for me. Robbie Fox, I've seen you in a suit before. You're wearing a backwards hat and a tee. Come on. Sorry, rant. Um, awkward moment of the year. Play him. You take it out on me because you think that I'll call. Call and say I didn't mean it at all, but I meant every second. Every second you saw, you saw what I see, and you saw that you're small. Look alive, the free ride's fucking over, Nate. Dry your eyes, tap those keys, and go home and fucking masturbate. I want to be on camera. No, I want to stay here. Well, so, maybe you have to go behind the camera. He doesn't mean that. Please Welcome to Parcel Radio, Rhea. To me. I did lose an argument yeah, to you. Yeah, that's why you're being mean to Rhea. We just apologize. Yeah. Get out of here. I know for a fact people would rather listen to us on the third hour. Drink on, on a Friday? Than hear two old fucks talking about their assholes. What, so what are you saying about? that the Barcel Radio audience would rather listen to our show for another hour than listen to the cousins? Because I think our show's better than theirs. Tough category. Oh. <laughs> oh. Really awkward stuff. I Well... KFC versus Nate Rapp. That's probably the rightful winner. Uh, on behalf of the people who did not dress up, we'd like to apologize. We all should have put in more effort. So uh, that's all I'll say. As far as this, um, that was 
the worst moment of all time, and I, the fact that it's immortalized forever is a problem, but hey, whatever. <laughs> Just lucky to still have a job. Thank you. <laughs> Lisa threw on a sport coat. <laughs> Best song. Paint, love that paint in my mustache. Paint all in my butt crack, paint all in my nuts. Drink pain. That's grit. Drink pain. Getting lit. It's so no, it's fine. Got a curve on my wide. Hong Kong, drive by. Panorama fit both sides. Fun day, Game of Thrones day. I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. She's a model. The award for best song, My Real Girlfriend, Pup Punk. I definitely should have dressed up today. Thank you to everyone at work that said, oh, you look nice today. I know you're lying now, but it was nice. Stop that in the video you were wearing a suit. I think that's, I think that's the one that everyone sees. Um, shout out Tiger Woods, thank you for winning the Masters. And shout out to uh, Roan and Robbie and PFT who write the songs. I just play the drums. And thank you to Smitty for not being in the band anymore, letting me do that. Thank you, guys. Best foreign film. Y O H K O, you only Hong Kong once. Alright. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Alright, so we're here. We're trying to get a. Um, I think it's like a. Fuck, I don't know. The economics of killing how the West fuels war and poverty in the developing world. And this is a rough book to find in a place like this. Chapter one, how the West's addiction to arms sales caused the 2008 financial crisis. I thought that was like bad mortgages. You wanna stop and just get some rest for a second? Wait, you can't actually. You have to keep moving. Dude, the walls here are wild. Stand under here, there's water dripping. Those American guys might be costing us the Ryder Cup. Just some of the worst songs I've ever heard in my entire life. Hey, how you doing? I like that outfit. I'm good, I'm good. Best foreign film, a category that traditionally has been dominated by Donnie, will stay with Donnie, Dragon Skins. Hey, how are you? Um, first off, I didn't know I was even nominated for the first award. I like, I don't know how I didn't find out about that when I'm not living in China right now. I would have prepared a heartfelt speech. Uh, right now, this is the first time I've won the foreign award going against other human beings than myself. So props to me. Um, I was worried Hong Kong might win when like all we really did was get drunk and take like Molly at a rugby match. Not a lot of hard work was put into that. Um, but when it comes to dragon skin, that is the rightful winner. Um, you don't get a ring for nothing. And uh, I would just like to I would just like to thank um Jemin Wu, Andrew Jong, um Xion Hu, and um I'd like to thank Rock. There was a guy. There was a guy on the team named Rock. Um, I would like to thank Andrew. He was American. He broke his ankle in in, in the Super Bowl. Um, I would like to um, 
thank um, Jiang Shin. Jiang Shin was a, he was a four, like a 400 pound Chinese kid, which is hard to come by. So props to that dude. Um, I would like to think, um, oh, this name's kind of hard to pronounce. I think it's Ho, Ho Shing. Yeah, Ho Shing. Dude had hands like he it just fucking covered in glue. That guy did never drop the ball. Um, I would also like to thank, um, this guy was named Apple. I don't know, he was named Apple, but he was a safety and he was fucking fast. A lot better than me. And last but not least, I would like to thank the center on the team we played who got the yips and fucked up three snaps in a row, which is the only reason that we won the Super Bowl. Shout out to that dude. Um, I couldn't live with myself if I were you. Thank you very much, go Warriors. Dubs up. Beautiful. The Smitty Gaming Award. <laughs> no, I didn't write them either, clearly. I will find you, I will kill you, I don't care where you are. I'll donate $100,000 to charity if you kill me tomorrow. Oh my god! Done. I'm down, man down, it's him. Oh fuck! Smitty! Look at this. This is the platform. One bite. Look at how tight that is. Nailed it. Absolutely fucking nailed it. The Smitty Gaming Award goes to only Smitty could lose his own award. <laughs> Zah driving trains. The man. <laughs> The man can't win his own award. He's the only, one, the only gamer. <laughs> what are you going to do? Uh-oh. What are we going to do here, Zah? <laughs> All right. Uh, Meet Your Heroes Award. Strong category, by the way, this year. Strong category. You're actually calling Michael Jordan. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh my god. My brother. What's up? That's Michael Jordan. Congratulations. So, thank you, man. All right. So here's the deal. I'm on part of my take on Barstool. I and, love you. I love you, and Michael the guys Jordan. Guys here love you. So. I mean, he just said, "Robbie, what's up?" Very good, very good. Hey, congrats on the Masters. That was fucking awesome. Pretty good. <laughs> so Pretty good. Up. All right, we'll see you out there. All right, yeah. See you guys. That was unbelievable. A lot of heroes here in the winner. Well, uh, we will give it to the four play boys. Well deserved. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I'd like to thank the boss man, first of all, yep. for uh, pretty much everything and kind of making our whole lives. I'll be honest, I started this whole thing by booing because right. I was so upset we that we weren't transition. even nominated and then we won. So yeah. what a weird night. Love it. Yeah, we wore these things out of protest, but it feels good to uh, be a back-to-back -back winner. Um, I still don't know where Tiger, if Tiger wants to know where we're stationed, I still have no idea. My brain would melt again, but it feels good to win this award. Thank you very much. Thank you. I didn't have any words for Tiger, so I don't have any words here. Still haven't said it. Some may say it's narcissistic, because I thought when you thanked the boss man, you were actually thanking me for a second, like, first. Oh, well. Uh, is this an actual thing, Brightest Star That Burned Out Award? Do we have something on this? OK. We're good at those. Barcelona Idol is live.
I am. I'm putting it down. I just cut the intro because Michigan man, I've heard a lot. You're crying now. Yeah. Uh, I heard you pulled Erica aside. You're like, I'm just losing my mind. I heard you talk to Frankie. You're like, I'm losing my mind. What is? Go and now I'm like, it can't be that bad. And we're not even paying attention. And you're just fucking crying. Maybe this isn't the place for me. Maybe. Okay. All right. And that's fair. If it's not the place for you, then it's not the place for you. That was an unneeded cheap shot. At <laughs> I mean, that guy's just trying to live his life. Wants well, nothing to do with us. We throw him on the awards show. <laughs> really, really mean stuff. <laughs> I mean, he's watching Michigan in the College World Series right now, and now he's getting. Ch I had nothing to do with that. Uh, the best tour. This is a professional athlete. Oh, oh my God, this. <laughs> he's dribbling, he's, he's dribbling like uh, Warren in Something About Mary. Oh, Fuck! God. Enough is enough. Oh yep. my God! Oh my God! He clutched it! He clutched it! He clutched it! Put your finger in that belly button. Oh, look at that. So, yeah. All the way in He's there. putting his finger. Oh, second number. Yeah. Why is it wet? Oh, <laughs> uh, well, it gets wet throughout the day. Yeah, no, it does get wet throughout the day. And the award for best tour, West Coast Wagon Tour Spit and Chicklets. Also, quick chicklet story. We're at, well, if I, if I was to tell the story at Lady Gaga yesterday, I saw Gary Bettman, commissioner of the NHL. Erica said, hello, I'm from Barstool. He goes, oh, Spit and Chicklets. It was actually kind of cool that he did that right away. Congratulations, Spit and Chicklets. I think we got a biz speech coming. What's up, everyone at Barstool? Biz here. I'm actually in Canada right now country that appreciates our podcast but apparently we've been getting a little bit more appreciation at the office recently by winning an award for best tour now I was shocked to hear that considering I feel like Barstool even tried to sabotage us during the tour by sending our uh, tour manager Brett with us um, that guy was an absolute nightmare he was basically a drinking buddy for the entire trip didn't even line anything up other than order shitty food now you would think Dana, one of the more con competent members of Barstool that got sent our way, would have helped out. But he was drunker than Bugsy the entire fucking trip. So all of a sudden now we got two anchors. And then throw R.A. in the mix, who the minute he landed went to the edible shop and fucking must have dummied about a thousand milligrams because he was on planet fucking Zoltan the whole trip. So now we had three anchors and still somehow mustered up in order to win best tour. So here we are. And I want to thank you guys for acknowledging the greatness of that tour. We had fucking a million stars and celebrities on it, all of which we found on our own. And we turned chicken shit into chicken salad. So thank you again, and I love you, and I'll see you guys soon at the new offices. Uh, so this next part in award shows they watch, they always do in memorandums of people who have passed. You know, this guy, I guess he's still alive, but I used to work with him all the time, and I actually thought he was no longer with us. So I asked for the memorandum until I saw him like two days ago. Uh, let's roll it. <laughs> R.I.P. Office Manager. There's been a lot of confusion based on the edit. I was just the messenger of the situation. Office Manager Brett, hardest working man in show business who gets nothing done. 100% my fault. That's all right. Brett Merriman is a fucking moron. That fucking feather hair idiot. Will you be less of an asshole tomorrow than you were today? I don't know if I can reveal this. There's something going on in Youngstown before the weigh-in. How can anybody be as stupid as that floppy-haired Muppet? I guess he's still here. He's just on the, uh, the, the upper floor, so. All right, biggest villains always. Always a heated category here at Barstool. Shout out HBO tonight. <laughs> yeah, there. No one wants to go on the record because what? Like our girls in house. Right. 
They said none of our women agree. Am I talking over this? What's happening? No, no, no. It's just you. What? You're talking live. Oh, so all right. I thought, I thought we were doing an award show. You just said, yeah, so for those at home, Keith said, what awful announcing just said that we want to put women on HBO or something? But Rhea was interviewed? And Erica was interviewed? What are you talking about? Yeah, this is confusing. Anyways, let's continue along with the show. Oh, I have the, <laughs> the biggest villain. No brainer, Bubbly Gang. I mean, come on. They like stole the website. They came up with the rose. I mean, you name it, they did it. And I gotta be honest, as much as I hate them, the people who didn't dress up here, I hate you more. That's how mad I am. All right, let's continue. Um, best rough and rowdy moment. Oh, we got another fight in the crowd. Your oh, no, hand that's Spider. Spider's, Spider's in trouble. Spider's in trouble. This guy's getting choked out. Caleb, get Spider. Spider's getting choked out. A little like, oh, and now he's getting removed. Well, are you get it? Oh, see Spider. In the Is he Spider oh, in Spider's in the mix. Spider Spider's in the him. mix. I appreciate that guy. And there he is. <laughs> <laughs> Good boy. This is one of the greatest. He's rubber. stuck there. He's stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Takes a village to get a raccoon out of a garbage can. <laughs> Daniel, I've seen a lot in yes. my day. This is a thousand pounds of women. Oh, and we got the beer going on in the milk. The milk, the milk man is back. The milk man is back. This is a wild scene. I tell you, you don't really realize how crazy rough and rowdy is until you watch those clips with no thing. I mean, this is a great victory. I wasn't there for I got spit, uh, sick, but Spider. Spider in the headlock. Thank you. I'm very honored. Um, great r and moment. They're always great. I can't wait till the next r and highlight is me and Nate going at it. Thank you very much. Let's go. No, that was good. That was good. I'm here for that. Uh, very good. Best worst gambling moment. What do you mean it would have been too much? That's going to pay a bazillion dollars. Not now, Bill, though. I mean, no, no. You asked where the 12 was. Why would you ask about the 12? I didn't bet the 12. You know why you asked about it? Because I didn't want him. No, no. No, I didn't. You were a thousand just as I didn't want the 12. Then why did you say, come on? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't my instant reaction is to laugh, but it's not funny. <laughs> Yale has a deep left wing three. No! so deep that it's like, what What do you even do? I need to win 38 straight. <laughs> I've lost six. 14 units on like Villanova alone. I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> I don't like this category at all. Uh, the winner or a loser, Tommy getting kicked off March Madness stream. <laughs> I apologize for that. Yeah. I guess I, is this like an award or? <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, you have the highs and the lows, uh, you know, still Team Pornoia, we're still stronger and, and good, as good as friends as ever. And maybe next March we'll get hot again. We're gonna have to. 
Yeah, no. That was tough. Okay, we got a feature. Barstool Animals in the Office feature. This is exciting. Stella Bean Portnoy, the one and only, king of the toys, the best dog that ever lived. Saturday mornings, you in that mud pit? It doesn't stop. Oh! 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 Yes, it is. This is PFT and Leroy, and this is the Saturdays are for the boys, 10 Shot Chops. Where are you going, bro? Marty, I got a... Whoa! She'll like you, Marty. He's a big game for us. He's built for this. When he wakes up in the morning, this is what he's ready for. Here are Larry's picks. He likes That's... the Lions, the R Words, the Patriots, the Vikings, and the Broncos. Oh! Oh! The water, Rudy! Oh man, that was a good one, Larry. You're you're getting the hang of this, bro. No, no, Northern Kentucky shouldn't be shouldn't be underdogs. That makes no sense, right? <laughs> that makes no sense. That makes no sense. That was beautiful, touching, really. Okay, uh, moving right along. And this is a very tough category because we've expanded uh, by about a million people. Oh, maybe after this show we can cut the fat a little bit. But new artist of the year. It is great to see how, how many People follow you and follow Barstool and how passionate they are. I mean, that's the one thing that Barstool lives in every college in America. I just feel so free right now that I have the run of the mill. Look at me, I'm Carabas. I like baseball. Ooh, cool. Wow. Jesus. This is, I mean, this is as far as it goes. I can't do that shorts. Everybody's seeing my party boys. <laughs> this is the hardest thing I've ever done. I'm soaked in sweat. The Glock Glock 3000 oh 9000 is every man's kryptonite. Three guys just talking movies like, like regular friends, man. Nobody's doing that. Exactly. We are by the average Joe and for the average Joe. Nobody else is doing that in podcasting. She just goes, oh, don't worry about him. He's harmless. I'm sorry. You're telling me unprompted that he's harmless? That probably means he's gonna fucking murder me. The sun shines on every dog's ass every now and then. And that dog's ass is mine. I am that dog. My name is Brandon Walker. It's been a rough day for me. Very rough. Um, my mood is low. Um, I've been getting, tw I've been getting tweets. DMs, emails, everything. Hope you handle on that snow. We out here in Puerto Rico. Y'all stay warm out there. <laughs> I hope Anthony Rizzo doesn't catch wind of this because that was not a good showing for a Rizzo fan. That is true. You want to hug the dish? You want to crowd my inside? I own that. I will establish that with authority. Where the fuck is Jack? I'm doing a documentary with superstars, and this is episode one, and you give me this guy? Look, man, I didn't have the heart to tell you. You were so excited. I just... I'm not doing a fourth-line peasant documentary. I want NHL stars. Genuine question. <laughs> what kind of father are you? Um, uh, yeah, good, to, good, mediocre to good. I mean, you already had two children. Why did you have the two? You, nobody needs more than two. Shall we continue? We shall. Okay. okay. Big category. We got a bunch of winners for this category. We got Ellie, Brandon Walker, Casey Smith, Willie Cologne, and Liz. Basically, everyone who's dressed up. <laughs> Go on, come get your awards. Thank you. And here, by the way, I don't know where Caller Daddy is. I don't know what's worse, showing up not dressed up, or just not showing up. Yeah. Uh, I'll be 
behalf of the group. Yeah, we have to. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I got to shut up. What up, everybody? Uh, shout out to Barstool Breakfast, Large, Francis, Patty, Zod, Jeske, uh, Rod in the engine room. Uh, thank you to Dave and Erica and Jen and all the powers that be. Uh, being a newcomer with the rest of the newcomers, it's all about content, not giving a fuck, and riding for Viva La Stool. Barstool, baby. Yeah. And thank you, Erica, for telling me I needed to wear a dress today. Thank you. Also, that was like a good PR picture for us. <laughs> a lot of girls, black guy, Mexican girl, we had everything. That, that was like, that was an A-plus photo right there. <laughs> okay, biggest fan. I will never fucking wake up a goddamn Red Sox fan. Fuck you, Boston. They're in a better spot than us. Do you get that? Oh, do I get that? Uh, like, Are you mansplaining that we just... They're fucking afraid of me, and they bring me down with SWAT team. There's a fucking million guys in my face that tell me I can't tape. I'm taping, and they put me in the SWAT room. There's, like, guns and fucking ammo. It's just like, if you're going to arrest me, arrest me. You know you can't arrest me. One of the guys like, how big is social media? What are you big on? I'm like, bro, I'm big on everything. Like, put the fucking cuffs on me. Saying you support Boston sports teams when you're not actually from there, the toughest thing in the world. So the toughest part about being a Boston sports fan is being a bandwagon sports fan. Is that what you're saying? I didn't say I was a fan. Oh, okay. I said I supported Boston teams. Never said I was a fan. I'm stunned. I thought you'd either be napping or incoherent at this point. How are we doing, Rocket? Is this Kevin? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Rocket? Boys, what do you think, bro? That's the funniest thing I've ever seen. Look at this fucking guy. He's a magic for a tough category, YP and Boris. Just want to say, first of all, Team Portnoy is now, I think, I mean, at least the first four or five members, we've all cleaned up a category, all dressed up, so that's just lead by example. But really, at the end of the day, I just want to say shout out to the rat, Magic Rat. Shout out to the pet store on 23rd Street that gave him to me. Thank you to Erica for letting him poop and live under your couch that you took meetings in and everything. That was very courteous. And thanks to Nate and Robbie and everyone that kicked him out of the office. We would have never been here without you. So shout out to you guys, the Magic Rat. And also, he actually had a little acceptance speech. He didn't say much, but uh, oh, it's nothing inappropriate. I don't know why you guys are freaking out. But whatever, I'll, I'll tweet it. He's a big Duncan fan. He said thank you to Duncan. So that's just way to go, Boris. Way to be mature. That, shout out to everyone that uh, is happy the Blues won. All right, I'm out. Congratulations, YP, and I, I like how you brought attention to the fact that all Team Portnoy is dressed up. Uh, is that it? Did we just do the whole show? All right, I didn't know that was the final one. I was doing cards. So there it is, second annual Barstool Awards. Thank you for everybody who watched. Thank you for everybody who came. Special thanks to everybody who dressed up. And by the way, Smitty, come up here for one second. That's not going to be bad. I want to show you shirt because you didn't win your own award show. It's this easy not to get in trouble. Just wear the tee. Wear a little effort, that's all. We're going to do this next year. Dunkin' Donuts, thank you. You better be dressed up next year if you're still here. Thank you, Dunkin' Donuts, for another great time.